welcome back. Yep, welcome back. This is our final uh, final um, uh, segment for the for the morning. Uh, we've got uh, University of Belize annual relaton. That's the topic for this morning. Sharet Yearwood of uh, MMAS lecturer at UB. Uh, Stanley Humes, coordinator of sports and recreation at UB. And Sela Rodriguez, who is a student at UB. Guys, welcome, and it's nice to have you. Good, Good morning, morning, and morning. thank you for having us. Uh -huh. yeah. Now, we know the Relathon is one of the hyped up activities for the year at the University of Belize. And uh, it definitely is a great opportunity for people to understand uh, why you organize it the way you do and how competitive it can be as well. So let's just talk a bit about the history of the Relathon. Okay. Um, <laughs> the <laughs> the Relathon started in 1977, actually. Wow. Yeah. Uh -huh. So that would be, what, 40 years ago? Mm -hmm. 1977, and um, it was actually out of the Belize Technical College mm -hmm. students, mm -hmm. um, Dudley Marshall. He was the, the, the lead in this. And it actually came out of a, a math, math assignment. And he thought that if what they would do is look at distance and speed and he figured that if the guys would start in Cayo, San Ignacio, mm -hmm. and the, the girls would start in Balmapan, going at a particular speed, at some point they would intersect. But at which point? Mm -hmm. That was the question. Mm -hmm. And so he made his prediction that they would cross at mile two. Mm -hmm. Here. Right here, right western, here, Belize, on, on the Belize, western, yes. yeah. So they would cross at mile two. So they took it to their instructor at that time, um, Mr. Vernon Card. I think a, a, a lot of people know him. Mm -hmm. um, they took it to him. He, had, he was also working with them um, with their student union. And so he said, wow, this song's good. Let's take this further. And so they had this presented to their sports committee. Their principal at the time, I think it was Mr. Gillette. And they said, sure, let's go for this. Um, how could we expand on this, though? And so the sports committee said, well, we've had marathons, um, you know, people collect donations. And they said, well, we needed, they needed to, to build a basketball court. Mm -hmm. And they said, well, let's combine something here. Let's do a relathon. So it would have been a relay marathon. Mm -hmm. And they sold it. Mm -hmm. So everybody got organized, they started training and said, you know, we're, we're going to do this thing. And um, the first one was 19, 1977, like I said, and think telecommunications at that time. It's not like now, mm -hmm. right? Uh -huh. And so what they did was approach some sponsors and it was BTA at that time, BTL now. Mm -hmm. And they said they would help them to broadcast the race, but it would be at certain certain uh -huh. villages mm -hmm. because remember there were community phones at that time yes. mm -hmm. and so what happened is that they were broadcasting broadcasting everybody was getting all hype excited and something went wrong and everybody was there waiting to hear from radio belize at the time uh -huh. and somebody picked up a transmission i i was made to understand all the way in barbados wow and mm -hmm. the person relayed the message and lo and behold the guys had caught up with the girls at mile two <laughs> wow just like the prediction as was predicted yes. just like the prediction yeah. yeah now now obviously uh the time that you want them to intersect is is much sooner now and we know it is a highly competitive yes race. very competitive and very this year is the tiebreaker year it is yeah. uh-huh so before I move into our athlete who's with us, I'm assuming you'll participate in the race. Mm -hmm. I, I have to find out uh, from you, Stanley, coordinating this event, getting the students involved, uh, what is it like from your end? Well, from my end, and before I go there, I want to say good morning, Belize, mm -hmm. and good morning, mm -hmm. colleagues. Um, it is very rigorous mm -hmm. in planning. There was no actual structure to this event, mm -hmm. but from my senior administrators mm -hmm. right, and colleagues, mm -hmm. I was pressured to bring a very lovely structure to this event. Mm -hmm. And now, where it is, I must say thanks to them for 
supervising me mm -hmm. and guiding me throughout this. Now, I'm responsible for all the logistics in terms yes. of transportation, mm -hmm. the medics, the training of the students, Mm -hmm. Also, my student athletes, because it's two different types. Yeah. We have the alumni, we have to invite them. Mm -hmm. The public, we, everything and everyone, we welcome to this event. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. So, what we're looking at is on Sunday, mm -hmm. the 12th of March, all the planning is effective, mm -hmm. right? And yes. we have full support from everyone. And also, we have four campuses that we communicate with mm -hmm. to get support from. So it's not only the Belmapan and the Belize City crew, but mm -hmm. we have Punta Gorda, mm -hmm. we have Central Farm, mm -hmm. and the three campuses in Belize. So it's very rigorous getting support. How many participants do you expect? Well, from my recruitment, I have in numbers roughly 70 females mm -hmm. or more, and about 60 males at the moment. Mm. Back in the day, back in the day, uh, way back in 2002, uh, you know, myself, you, you as well took part in this, and it was, it, it was actually something that if you don't take part in it, then you're not cool. <laughs> so now that you're telling me, because it, you know that was how it was. Now that you're telling me, you have about 70 plus uh, females. What is your recruitment drive like? Do we have a lot of people who want to be a part of it, so they could be a part of the cool crew to know? that I run all the way from Belmopan or I run all the way from San Ignacio into Belize City. What is this recruitment like for you? Well, it is very hard, mm -hmm. very hard. I train some of the students on Tuesday and Thursday, mm -hmm. six o'clock in the morning. Just getting out of bed is an issue for them, <laughs> right? But in, in our actual time, we know that females are very dominant mm -hmm. and females are empowered by trying to be successful in every year. But males, ourselves, mm -hmm. we, we, are this, we just have this macho type macho behavior, yes. right? So we, we won't train like the females. We will say, okay, I'll go in the gym, lift weights, while the females are putting the work on the field, <laughs> right? And I have to say, and give a special thanks to Miss Ida Arzu. Mm -hmm. She trains in, the Bel in Belize, Belize today with the females, every, I believe every second day, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they are very effective. They are, they are working and it's like a threat. The females are sending to the males, mm -hmm. yeah. right? Mm -hmm. But I know the males. I know the males that are working and I am saying this year, it will be a tough one. Well, I think what you can say, based on what you explained in terms of your difference in training, is that they're both equally effective. And exactly. uh, this year we'll see which one has a slighter edge. But we'll yeah. see because the females have won the last five. Uh -huh. Let me just say that. Five. Uh -huh. The last okay. five has Since been ours. 2012. Yeah. Wow. So, yeah. so the males are on a roll. Yes. Tell us about uh, why you chose to participate in the Relathon okay. and uh, what the preparation has been like so far. Well, first of all, I'm a student athlete. Okay. I do play for the university. I do play football. Uh -huh. And we are required, actually, it's mandatory for us to participate in a relaton. Uh -huh. But I do enjoy running, you know, and my coaches have encouraged me to run. Last year, I got one of the top times running for a mile. Mm -hmm. And um, it's, the training is very challenging. Like, um, my coach here says that every Tuesday, Thursday at 6, we have to be at that bump. To run the ring road and it's not easy. Yes, and apart from that, I have personal train a personal trainer that works with me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, I also have my training for football training, so I do have to manage all those trainings. Yeah, you know, so it's not it's not easy. It's challenging. I do have my days when yeah. you know I don't want to go and run, but yeah. You know. So you have participated before. Yes, last year. Tell us year. a bit about the experience in the Relathon itself. Um, last year was my first year participating in uh -huh. the Relathon. It was quite, um, was quite, you know, reaching at that end line and mm -hmm. knowing that you are you won. You know, yeah. it felt you know, sort of a accomplishment, a, yeah. a great achievement. You know, and what leg did you run? Um, I ran for, I ran two and a half miles. Okay. okay. Nice. Yes. Excellent. And being clocked for a mile, and this was uh, what I wanted to ask, because you did mention Tuesday, Thursdays, you do the ring road. Mm -hmm. The ring road is about, I think, three miles? 2.4 2. 2. 2. 4. 2. miles. Do you guys clock yourselves while you run that? Yes. And Mr. what 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 do you have to make to see, you know what, this is comfort in terms of time? Um. <laughs> well, I, 
Sorry to interrupt. Now I wanted to know this because if she is running and, and are clocking one of the best miles, I wanted to know because this is how the males would eventually uh, say, you know what, Th these are the things we have to beat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I have what happened um, every session mm -hmm. that we do, I clock their times, I log their times. And I usually send out a list to all the participants or all the officials, I would say, to see or to give them so they can observe what strategy they will use and who they will use. For example, Ancela, 2.4 miles, she's running like 18 minutes, yeah. right? And if you divide 18 minutes by two, it's a bit over one mile, right? Mm -hmm. Because it's 2.4, mm -hmm. yes. so it's extra. So 18 minutes, if you divide that by two, you're already roughly about, <laughs> do the probability, <laughs> right? You see? So that time, right? One minute, she's giving what? Eight minutes. Mm -hmm. Eight minutes per you see what I'm saying? So eight minutes, minutes per mile. The guys are in trouble, and you have guys yeah. running sometimes the same time. Yes. Right. Yeah. So guys, he's a top and runner. here's the here's the advantage because it depends on how you perform under pressure as well. Yes. Yeah. So no matter how you train, when you're out there and yeah. that adrenaline kicks in yes. or the nerves exactly. kick in, it'll either help you mm -hmm. or hinder mm -hmm. you. Right. What do you do on race day? What have you done on race day? And you're probably used to it as an athlete on how to get those butterflies in a row. <laughs> <laughs> I make sure I do rest well. Yeah. I, I have a lot of water and I do encourage myself. I have to keep that momentum, you know, that you got this, you yeah. got this, you yeah. got this, you can do this. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, it's, it comes from within. It's that encouragement that comes from within where I motivate myself. Yeah. And I also have people depending on me, you know, my coaches, mm -hmm. my parents, my friends, everybody, you know, go for it. You can so they do expect it. you to make up time exactly. when you're running. <laughs> as, an athlete, as an athlete as well, uh, I'm sure there are new faces that will be a part of this. What are they asking you? Um, what's my best time? And <laughs> <laughs> um, how many miles am I planning to run? What have I been doing? If I've been training, <clears throat> you know, people want to know these things so they can see, you know, where best they can get me. <laughs> how can you, how do you decide how many miles you are going to run? Is it just push yourself to what you know you can handle or is that something that's flexible on the day itself? It's quite flexible, right? Okay. It's quite flexible. So if you, you hit a good stride, yes. you'll keep on going. Yeah. Even if you and we do want we miles. do want to and beat the, the guys. Is you don't have to run consecutive miles. Okay. Yeah. Because you could do one and yeah. then you take a break. Take a break and then you So so that's a part of our strategy. Um mm -hmm. we look at at what the girls are capable of when we yeah. look at what they've been putting in with training um we don't want to take the fun out of it as well yeah. because some people go out we know you go out to have some fun i mm -hmm. mean it's very competitive but mm -hmm. we want to have fun as well so we try to include as many runners as possible mm -hmm keeping in mind that we want our best times that's, right. yeah. that's what's important that's because one of the things i forgot to mention to you um about the the theory um mr marshall had said that the guys would have to run between um, fi um a mile between five and seven minutes mm -hmm. and the girls would have to run between seven and nine minutes so we know we always keep that in mind that our girls need to need put to in that it. mile exactly. under nine minutes what about when it comes to, because we know that the, the females have been taking this thing since 2012, what is the monitoring process like, especially, I don't know if you're in the back, Mr. Humes, or, or, or when, it, when, it, when it said that, you know what, the boys are about a mile away, or the oh boys boy. are about, <laughs> yes. what, what's the feeling like? What, what is this emotion that, that you is flowing through you? You have to pump up your athlete, no? Well, that, that is a real or huge adrenaline rush. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Because the females, they, they, they are pushing, they are working. I know yeah. that for a fact because I'm neutral. I can't mm -hmm. ride with the boys, or, nor with the females. <laughs> I'm, I'm the, the coordinator, right? Yeah. So I'm always there monitoring, you know, the distances and stuff. And if everyone is okay, you know, if they're well hydrated mm -hmm. and stuff, right? Mm -hmm. So when I go back, the calls. yeah, get the, calls. the calls, right? Yeah. But you don't want anyone to know, but it's, it's just this, this hype, uh. right? And the guys, sometimes they're coming and they're, they're flat. They're coming and they're flat, uh -huh. right? So... And also, we, we forgot to mention that there are specific rules to the event. Mm -hmm. okay. They have splits, right? Yeah. Where they can run half mile and half mile. Oh. So, okay. only 10. 10 changes. Right? So, okay. imagine that strategy just to try and catch them or to take a lead, oh. right? Mm -hmm. And we also have officials too, right? That yeah. takes the time. We don't interfere with that. We have yeah. them deal with that. And you've had a wealth of experience with this, with this uh, race to understand uh, where you need the most help. Now, we're, we're running out of time, so we want to get into some of the details here. And uh, tell us about 
how people can show their support. A lot of people look forward to this. The different communities along the way look forward yeah, to seeing it pass. Mm -hmm. Tell us the date. Uh, well, we know it's Sunday at the Times and uh, what people can do to be able to stay up to date. Well, this event will be starting at 8.30 mm -hmm. a.m. sharp. Mm -hmm. Wow. The males will leave from San Ignacio and the mm -hmm. females from Belmopan. The location is in front of the police station in San Ignacio, San Ignacio and in Belmopan, in front of the Buka gas station. Okay. okay. That's Puma. Okay. In Belize City, we in meet. Belize City also, we will meet. <coughs> well, the transport will be leaving I, the IT vet campus uh -huh. at 5.30 a.m. Mm -hmm. It will then go to the FMAS campus, that's the business campus, mm -hmm. followed by the FEA, education campus, and mm -hmm. then out to, to, to to so yes. So they'll okay. be doing their pickups, and yes. then you leave at eight thirty. And around what time do you arrive in Belize? In Belize, well, the last one was three. Three hours. Yeah, okay. roughly after three. After three. Okay. Yeah. More or less. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And it's at the, it's gonna close up at the IT vet IT vet campus. Mm -hmm. So you'll be and able there's to usually see a, a nice reception out there. Yes, we have a people nice come out to, to greet us. Yeah. Um, and yeah. it's very simple. You're either rooting for the girls or, or the guys. Guy. <laughs> That's it, right? <laughs> and they are officially tied. It's 18, 18. 18. 18. Yeah. Wow. So we'll see who will take the lead. Now, uh, obviously, the girls are on a winning streak. So yes. the pressure is on for you. <laughs> yes. you and the guys are looking to break that trend, I'm very sure. <laughs> yes. So, uh, you know, I know that um, you were able to get into the history of it. And I just want, before we close, uh, as a student, what it means to be able to have all the staff, the students, and the wider community so engaged in this one activity coming out of the university. Let's, let's start with you. It means a lot to me, you know, to us at least, that, you know, we have the support. You know, we have the support of our school, and people are rooting for us and say, you know, you, it, actually, it's a tradition for the University yeah. of Belize. So mm -hmm. everybody focus on this race. It's something very important. And, you know, we, we, we like the, that they encourage us, and we want them to continue this tradition mm -hmm. long after. You know, How I'm confident there. are you with the uh, girls keeping their win? <laughs> I'm pretty confident. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm pretty confident. <laughs> we have been training. The rest of your team is saying, we got this. We got this. <laughs> <laughs> all, right. all right. Anything else you guys would like to say before we close? Your sponsorship. I, yes. if you, yeah, all right. Um, for sponsorship in the past, we've had um, Boeing and Boeing, mm -hmm. um, Saw Belize, Habet and Habet. We can't forget the police department. Yes. They always have their police officers out there. Um, safety, very, very important to us. Mm -hmm. um, the ambulance, all of those things we have to the have in place. The, um, yes, the referees um, need to okay. big up runner. Mm -hmm. yeah. Runner, he's the pacers, always the pacers. The pacers yeah. Yeah. And the, this guy is known as runner. Right? Very mm -hmm. important. Um, Chuck's bus service. Yeah. Chuck's bus service. Um, we can't forget Channel 5 mm -hmm. okay. yeah. because Mr. Ramsey is out there every year. Yeah, Mr. Yeah. Ramsey. Every yeah. year. He did our footage So we can't, forget, we can't forget him. Yeah. And also the, um, the medics. Mm -hmm. The medics, they did a very well. Yeah. Very, so very good job. It's a well-coordinated event with yes. lots of support. We wish you the best of luck. It takes place this Sunday. Mm -hmm. uh, if you are heading up, the bus leaves at 5.30, 5.30. from the first stop and the race itself starts at 8.30. Nice. All right. Well, best of luck, guys. And thank you for stopping in and, and letting us know a bit of the details. And uh, I'll go ahead and say it. I'm rooting for the girls. So <laughs> <laughs> That's just, it's Women's Month. That's just the way it's supposed to be. So. And besides, you, you look like you're uh, well-trained for this. So, yes. so you, ha you guys have it, right? <laughs> so we're going to go ahead now. That's right. We're about to uh, wrap things up. As soon as we get back, we'll uh, make a wrap. And of course, we've got, as per usual, nothing but the best right here on 5. So stay with us.